American Idol will not be seen tonight so that we may bring you this speech from the president. This is not American Idol. I know what it isn't. Oh, this is sound we didn't get to hear on Tuesday night. It was totally lame. Yeah, that was really sad. You know, we had, to our, turn on we had our penance and our popcorn. And I, that, by the way, that wasn't a prop. I actually have a. There's actually a flag in this house, an artifact that says we're boobies on it. Like we didn't. <laughs> you brought that, it to a ball game last summer. We didn't summer. make. We didn't make it for the show. You were rooting for the Baltimore boobies. I was voting. For, I was rooting for exactly. It's like well, who? I have no allegiance except for boobies. Sporting them. <laughs> well, it was. It was so sad. It was you know turn on Idol and there's a uh, President Barack Obama. Oh God! Enough already. It's like can't you at least have the judges review his speech? Uh, yo yo yo! Check it out. Check this out. Yo check this out, dog. You plan to deal with those toxic assets and credit derivatives? It's just I, right, dog. It's just I. You know, right. I understand why you chose that particular speech. I just felt like you could do something more up tempo. It's like you know? something. It's like something. Something you'd see when the Mexican president comes to town. I, I really do. I really do think that. I really Obama, do. you. First of all, I just want to say that you look beautiful tonight. You look beautiful. I just wish we'd see more of the Obama that we met in Iowa. All right, <laughs> enough of that. What did, what did you think of last week's build show? Looking back now, uh, I thought last week's build show was uh, terrible. Oh, last week's terrible. build show was oh, terrible. Right. Trying wait, trying way too hard. It's like yeah, it's like uh, it's it's just not firing. It's just not yeah. working. You know that that uh, the, guy, the, the the little yodeler guy from The Price Is Right, the one that climbs <laughs> up the hill. You know, and, and then think, falls off. That's yeah, us. I think like you, we, we overbid and we you fall. Over, off. You overbid, and, and Drew Carey like sends him plummeting to the ice crevasse that's or so something. That's so sad. That's you know, like, well, you know the, what I noticed about last week's show? Two-dimensional cardboard cutout guy. You don't have to sympathize with him. <laughs> what I noticed about last week's show was the uh, the subtitles actually got really snotty. Yeah, they were there. they were uh, they were a little bitchy. A little bit of a scold. Yeah, it's like the, who writes those? I wonder. You actually you wrote you wrote them. Yeah, that was only you. Well, we're not going to have any more snotty subtitles this week. That's our promise. I'll tell me. Yeah, that's uh, that's our promise. We're just going to go right into the show. So, um, what'd you like last week? Oh, I'm on the spot. I, I liked uh, <laughs> I like like Lost this week. Yeah. Lost is Lost is you know every week. I want to look forward to it. It's on TV. It's great. It makes Wednesday a real highlight. You know, it's like I'm sure it has fewer viewers than Gary Unmarried or whatever that Jay it's Moore thing is. Criminal. But, but that it's is great. So it's criminal. a great show. I don't care if it has any viewers, you know? Yeah. I mean, the, the yeah. plots are just, you know, I mean, sure, the plots are labyrinth. Mm. Well, you know, the plots, I feel like, are getting better after a little slow patch this season. Yeah. It's the characters, yeah. for me, that are sort of falling off. Like, you know, oh, what happened to okay. Sawyer? What happened to badass Sawyer, who was a con man and used to, like, get suitcases full of cash out of women and... <laughs> you know, hoard other people's asthma medication. Now he's like playing house with Julia. He shaves. He's, you know, he's pussy whipped and he fat. Shaves. I don't like it. Yeah, he, I think he's literally, it seems like he's gone from uh, hoarding all those hustlers under his pop tent in the beach. He, this week, I thought I literally saw him signing up members of the Dharma Initiative for their for the 401k, you know, program. It was ridiculous. I'm doing the same thing I'm always doing, putting our assets in, you know, high yield, low interest bonds. That's a, that's a decent story. That's ridiculous. And you know the uh, the other thing that they're not doing with him is they haven't had him shirtless since uh, I think the first episode of the season. Which... <laughs> is that your Ben Linus? That's my Ben Linus that's impression. Really good. I that's keep good. his glasses by the computer just in case somebody. <laughs> Jack. I, I don't you know. I, that's just, pretty damn. It's good. just a little something I work on in front of the mirror on the subway train while I'm shaving while I'm on the treadmill while. I'm <laughs> well, I'll dinner. tell you. I'll tell you what I like this week. What did you like? This book. That book is pretty this good. This book, Escape. Oh my God, this book was so good. I liked it so much. It was so exciting. <laughs> Basically, it's about this um, woman who was in a polygamous. Did you turned into Rosie Perez at the beginning there. Yeah, I uh, guess. I guess I did. I got a little excited. Yeah, let's do the right thing around here. <laughs> um, she was in uh, the Fundamentalist Church of Latter Day Saints in a polygamous marriage with. Um, five other wives and she had like you know 87 children and she had to escape 
in the middle of the night from so her uh, fundamentalist too. husband. It was, I mean, it was, it was really interesting. It was, uh, it was like Big Love, except no, it's, good. It's unlike Big Love because it was interesting, I think. No, here's the thing. Big Love, I, I like Big Love. I really, I enjoy watching it. I mean, I, the season just ended. I watch it, you know, but the problem is, is that it, it's like, a sh uh, it's not the show it could be because it's supposed to be the spiritual successor of all the great shows, you know. It's a good and show. it's not, it's not. And I think the problem is that, like, the interesting thing about polygamous marriages Tell is that they have 99 million children, like she did in this book. Yeah. And um, in Big Love, like, in theory, they have all these kids, but in practice, where are they? Where's little Moisha from week to week? Where's where's little little Shlomo or, or Shmuley? What are they, Lubavitchers? Or... You know, same thing. Oh, I, oh, you mean the toe-haired kid? Yes. The five iterations of the, the little toe-haired kid. Yeah, the, the, I mean, you know, there, the, there were literally... 40 children in this household. Yeah. And on Big Love, you know, it's, it's sort of a varying number of kids from week to week. And yeah. that, that, uh, anyway, moving on. I'm sorry to pull our attention away from the books, but we're going to get to movies now because they're a lot less participatory, a lot more, more participatory for the viewer. <laughs> they're a lot easier to read, though. A lot movies. easier to read, especially when they have subtitles like a Bergman movie. So this week we saw we I saw, Love You Man. I Love You Man, which I think we're going to give a middle thumb. You know, I liked this movie. I enjoyed this movie while I was watching. I just didn't like laugh that much. It was more more cringing than laughing. There were no belly and I liked laughs. to laugh. There was Jason Siegel, but there was no Jason Siegel's penis. Um, not enough for us. Not enough no. for us. Uh, you know, he set the bar, the dong bar, really high. You know, for getting the Sarah dong Marshall, bar. and there's no no dong in this movie. We give it two kaitels up. <laughs> pretty so, sad. What would you What would you say the, the like the through line of this movie was? Yeah, uh, I guess the plot was like nice guy engaged to nice girl, but he lacks something in his life in that he doesn't know how to banter. And then a guy that's, that's, comes along and teaches him how to quip, and then his life is complete. I, I, I know how to quip. My life is not complete. I mean, do you, do you really want to be the guy online behind me at the bank while I'm like talking to the teller in my worst Grover accent? Or, or, you know, uh, the, the pin on this chain does not work. I'm trying to make a deposit. You have any more little slips? Up. Down. Up. Down. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe Down. Jason Siegel can come along and teach you not to quip. Yeah, well, let's we'll see if they make a movie about that anytime soon. Anyway, that's what we liked this week. Um, we always like hearing from you, of course, if you want to email us. Our email address is uh, the, the, the build, build Show. The Build Show. Email. I want to say it. I'm going to say it. There's no joy in this show unless I get to read the email address <laughs> You out. were taking too long. Oh. Uh, you were screwing it up. Build Show. Give me that. You're not doing your line well enough. No. You're like Screw a it subtitle it up. now. I'm like a subtitle. I'm like a living subtitle. That's how I get treated in this marriage. Well, then tell them what the I already email told them what it was. <laughs> the email address was the, the build show at gmail.com. It write doesn't matter. Us. Are you we'll right read it. Yes. And then um, we'll be happy. We'll be happy. You'll have fulfilled our lives. It's like, what, what more do you, what, what more could you possibly want? Do you want me to Put on a wig and makeup and dance. What? what more do you no. Think? All right. Anybody, anybody who's listening, you just stay tuned for this point. I know it's like that. We'll see you next week. Fuck me. I would fuck me. I'd fuck me.